potter's wheel, shaping and drying. Shaping changes a cylinder shape into anything. Let's get started. Tools for shaping and drying. Bucket of water, sponge, potter's rib, needle tool, wire tool, a board to put the object on, and a plastic bag to slow the drying process. To keep clean, choose a split leg apron. Start with a centered and lifted object. Play to make shapes different than a cylinder. Push out from the inside to widen areas. Lock your arms into your body and move slowly to keep your center. Remove the extra water inside. Firmly press down to avoid cracks. Keep your hands moist to avoid friction. To narrow, slowly close your hands. Remember to keep your arms locked into your body. Play with variations of pushing and pulling. Use even pressure to control the clay. Work slow and steady to get results. If something unexpected happens, figure out why. Things don't work. Make it work. Try not to get discouraged. Figuring out problems is what it's all about. Be confident to quickly improve. When you're finished, you need to cut the piece off the bat. Add water to the bat while spinning slowly. Wrap the wire tool around one hand. Keep your thumbs just wide enough for the foot of the object. Pin your thumbs onto the bat and pull while spinning. Repeat until the object jumps. Remove the bat, keeping it flat so the water doesn't drip. Rest it on the side of the splash pan. 
place your board on the wheel head. Sometimes it's helpful to have a second person. Tilt the bat onto the board and use the wire tool to pull. Use the wire to pull the object onto the board. Keep the wire flat when removing it from underneath the object. Wipe off any excess water. Don't let a thrown object sit out uncovered. Lightly cover it with a plastic bag to avoid cracks. Slowly dry to leather hard for trimming.